my god, why are you single? You're too pretty to be single. Why are you single? I'm single because I have five kids. I've just come to the conclusion. I'm done being single. Um, stepdaddy applications now being accepted um, from anyone. F it. If he texts back, okay, sounds good. Got to thinking about it, and I'm not trying to f with a single mom anyways. Glad I dodged that bullet. It sounds like a show. The loneliness of being a single mom hurts. It's been over a year since I've been intimate with anyone. And for someone who had been in relationships for 10 straight years, that's a really weird feeling. I'm at the point now where I don't even remember what it's like to kiss someone. Now that my daughter and I are a package deal, I have to be extra, extra selective of any dude I choose to bring into my life from this point forward because it's gonna affect her too. It's just, it's just a lot sometimes. The loneliness is a lot. Okay, so there's a guy that keeps asking if he can take me out to dinner. So I said, look, said if I can get a free night this weekend or this week, you know, I'm let's go. So I just sent him a text and said, hey, look, my week's looking kind of crazy. I'm going to have to go grocery shopping at some point. Um, I'm going to have to start homeschooling the older two due to distance learning. I still have to take the baby to preschool and pick her up from preschool. Um, Holy crap. All right. She's just getting started with what she texted this man. She needs to understand that that long list of errands that she has to run all are because she's a single mother and she cannot expect a really pleasant response after just essentially like it kind of seems like she's pl trying to play hard to get by using her children. Well, let's, let's keep listening. You know, that's not mentioning laundry and dishes and vacuuming and dusting and cleaning bathrooms and still Why going to work you... in the afternoon. Um, and on top of that, we have a storm rolling in. So I said, I'm going to have to go get the wood splitter for my ex so I can get some wood down to the house because it's my only source of heat. Okay. If I am this guy receiving this text, that's rejection. That's rejection to me. If you're a single mother or, or you know, you're a woman and you're messaging me this, giving me a laundry list of reasons why you don't think a date is going to happen between you and I. That's not something I'm going to be like, oh, okay, let's reschedule. No, I'm going to take that as a rejection. Could have just said you were busy, but instead you give me this laundry list of reasons, which all include you being a single mother as to why we can't make this date happen. You better not expect a super pleasant response from the guy, and that's exactly what she does not get. Let's continue. I got to get some wood stacked. Uh, he texts back, okay, sounds good. Got to thinking about it, and I'm not trying to f with a single mom anyways. Glad I dodged that bullet. It sounds like a shit show. <laughs> Let's be real. It absolutely did sound like a shit show. And in the comments of this, vid of this video here, there are so many men and women say, oh, he's not a real man. A real man would offer to help you. A real man would do this and that. And he he's not a real man. He's just a little boy. And here's the thing. If you choose to date a single mother or you choose not to, dating a single mother is not some noble thing. It does not put you on the pedestal as a man of virtue. You aren't this like all of a sudden great man who's who's now checked off that that final requirement to become a real man. That is not <laughs> that's not true. And then if you choose to not date a single mother, it also doesn't make you a selfish, heartless little boy. It doesn't make you a prick. It doesn't make you any less of a man. This is all just shame, shame, shame to come and save these single mothers. But we see that time and time again. In my humble opinion, I think that really the only way it's going to work out for a single mother is if she gets together with a single father and they make a great big family. That's, in my experience, how I have seen it work out. And here's the thing. If I'm, if I'm a young boy and I have a single mother, and then some guy comes along and begins to date her, and he has no kids. Well, well, me as that child, I'm going to be a little bit weary of this guy. I'm going to kind of think, well, hey, man, why aren't you able to build your own family? What's going on here? Like, I'm going to be a little bit weary of that man. But if that man were to come along and he has kids, I'm going to kind of understand it more. 
It's gonna make more sense and I'm gonna be less suspicious of the guy. The loneliness of being a single mom hurts. It's been over a year since I've been intimate with anyone. And for someone who had been in relationships for 10 straight years, that's a really weird feeling. I'm at the point now where I don't even remember what it's like to kiss someone. Is that weird? It's literally been so long that I don't remember what it's like to have a warm body next to me, to have someone text me I love you, to cuddle next to someone on the couch while we watch Netflix. All of those mundane little things you do in a relationship, like even beyond the intimacy and the sex, I don't even remember that stuff anymore. Is that weird? It sucks and I miss it. I'll be real with you, I miss it. People say, yeah, but you've got your kid, you shouldn't be lonely. And that's true, my daughter is my life, she's my everything, and I would die for her. But she's a toddler. When I'm not working my nine to five, I spend my free time speaking nonsense and asking rhetorical questions and babbling with a kid who's still in diapers. It's mentally exhausting. It's a whole other level of lonely to go through something as taxing as motherhood and have no one at the end of the day to kick back with, have a good fuck, and have a good, deep, long, philosophical conversation. But damn, I really miss having someone on my level, physically, mentally, emotionally. I'm starting to feel like now that I'm a mom, finding a quality dude is only going to be that much harder. I work full time, I don't have a car, I don't have the patience for online dating. Like I literally don't have the time to share my life story with tons of dudes who I don't even know if anything will go far with them. And now that my daughter and I are a package deal, I have to be extra, extra selective of any dude I choose to bring into my life from this point oh, forward. This right here, we need to teach women. You, you need to take this sort of idea or this, you need, you need to take this sort of thinking and apply it before you have a kid. Because it's gonna affect her too. It's just, it's just a lot sometimes. The loneliness is a lot. And the unknown of the future is a lot. The what ifs, the what if I'm single for the rest of my life? What if I never have sex again because I'm not a 21 year old hooking up with random guys at the club? What if there are no quality guys left and one who will accept a single mother at that? Whew, I don't know guys, it's a lot. So what's gonna happen with a lot of these women is they get knocked up by the guy who they're really, really attracted to and physically, sexually, emotionally, everything. Turns, turns them on, presses all the buttons. And then once they break up, and once these women become single mothers, they're then going to try to find the guy who doesn't really have that many options or historically wasn't really wanted by that many women, and they're going to make that sort of guy come in and, and commit to them. So what they're doing is they're prioritizing the men they're very attracted to physically to sleep with to get the genetics of. And then later down the road, they're going to essentially make the, the guy who really wouldn't have been their first option in their heyday and their prime when they actually were getting around and sleeping around and had their pick of the litter. They're then going to try to get the commitment from the guy who wasn't their first option. So now that they are on their decline, essentially, they're older and now they're coming with a lot of baggage, a kid including that, well now they're going to try to go for the guy who sort of, again, wasn't wasn't their first choice, who now is going to provide them with, with the money and the stability and is going to overlook their past because they bought into the gynocentric order that, hey man, don't judge women, don't judge a woman by her past, if you're, you're, you're a real man, <laughs> If you'll date a single mother, that's what tests a real man's ability to be a man is if he'll date a single mother. And these types of men who historically, like I said, haven't had that many options, weren't that desired by women. Now all of a sudden, these types of women are coming to them, but they're coming to them with a lot of sexual history, a lot of baggage, a lot of children. But now these guys are kind of these guys are kind of in their prime now. They're making money. They got a stable nine to five. They are giving these single mothers hope. They're like, oh, this is my last grasp at a, at a good future. This is my last grasp at a good man. I'm okay with getting with a good man now. Oh my God, why are you single? You're too pretty to be single. Why are you single? I'm single because I have five kids. I've just come to the conclusion. I'm done being single. Um, Stepdaddy applications now being accepted. Um, from anyone, it. 
If you can kill a spider, send me an application. If you don't mind three kids, send me an application. I'm slightly crazy. However, um, I bust my ass. I'm loyal as fuck. I just don't like to kill spiders, and that's two in less than two hours. So, yeah, applications being accepted. That woman is a lost cause.